Well, when the Horn of Africa environmental activists in Mogadishu are calling for more sustainable solutions to deal with the damage from climate change and a lot more climate financing to flow into the continent. They've been gathering at the recently wrapped up Mogadishu Climate Summit along with experts in the sector and policymakers. Now, Somalia is one of the countries in the Horn of Africa that has been severely affected by climate change. Just last year, for example, it was hit by the worst drought in the region in 40 years. Mohamed Kayir takes a look at the ongoing efforts to deal with the issue. During the last 10 years, Somalia has paid a heavy price for the impact of climate change. From severe drought situations to torrential rainy seasons resulting in flooding. Experts say human activities such as charcoal production result in deforestation, a key contributor to climate change. In June this year, the Somali government has made a commitment to provide 10 million US dollars to combat impacts of climate change, such as desertification. Activists here are calling for more financing, especially from upcoming climate change conference, COP28, in the United Arab Emirates. We are calling upon stakeholders, specifically the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, to take responsibility in the international negotiations regarding the climate finance particularly in the upcoming COP28 conference and secure the funding for the loss and damages caused by climate change and likewise speed up policies and regulations to ensure sustainable solutions on environmental issues. In an effort to reduce ongoing deforestation, President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed's government launched a regreening initiative to plant 10 million trees across the country. The project aims to boost biodiversity and help combat the repeat of cycles of devastating drought in the country. We are urging every family to plant at least one tree in their home. If you plant two, three, four or five, that is even much better. The trees planted should be beneficial to both humans and animals, such as birds, due to their fruits. With one of the longest coastline in the continent, solid waste such as plastic, it's also a big challenge to marine life. The environment minister says time has come to pay a special attention to plastic waste. With the, our beautiful land and weather, ocean, livestock, agriculture. But unfortunately that we have been through the civil war of our country, that our environment, that we need to be able to do something. And this, I think is the right time that we need to stand together and do something about it. And it's an amazing job and how to do waste management and the pollutions and, and how to fight with the plastic. Somalia contributes less than 0.03% of greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere. But the impact of global warming is evident in its main economic activities including livestock and agriculture. Hamid Kaye, CGT in Mogadishu, Somalia.